Hello and welcome to Theme Parks and Attractions. Today I'm at Gatwick Airport and it's travel day. It's horrible weather at the moment so I can't wait to get out and enjoy some sun. Yeah, I'm just about to go through security so I'll see you on the other side and we'll chat about where I'm going. Right, I'm just going to put my liquids into the bag and then get through security. And just like that, made it out of baggage check. Yeah, it only took a couple of minutes, so nice and easy. Now I'm in a duty free. And yeah, here we go, walking through duty free. Obviously, you got your alcohol just over here. Got some more over here as well. Let's see what we've got up here. You've got the uh, duty free cigarettes just up there in the distance. And then, just like any duty free, you've got lots of perfumes around, lots of makeup around there. Yeah, I'm quite hungry today for some reason. I'm not sure why. I've had breakfast out at a Starbucks earlier. And yet, yeah, I tend to find on travel days I get really hungry for some reason. No matter what I've eaten the night before, it's very strange because I don't usually when I'm not traveling. Yeah, I always like looking at the sunglasses section once I'm in here over at the Oakleys and Ray-Bans. So I'm gonna have a look over there now. Yeah, usually if you're looking for a nice pair of sunglasses, get them in a the duty free because you make a nice saving. For instance, this pair here, 115.80, normally 139. Usually, if you go to an Oakley store in the UK or another sunglasses store, you'll pay quite a lot more. So yeah, come here if you want a pair of sunglasses. Not the best colour sunglasses though. Now, when you walk out of duty free, you're greeted by in the main central area. We've got lots of bars, restaurants, and I'll show you around now and show you what's here. And here we go, straight in we go. Just over there, you've got the Lego store, you've got the JD Sports, obviously you've got a lot of JDs in most of the airports. And just over there, you've got Harrods. Now, if you're looking for clothes and you don't want to go JD, they've also got a super dry store here with lots of clothes, lots of fleeces, jackets, because obviously it's winter time at the moment. Now, in the distance, you've got Weatherspoon. I'm going to check it out, see how busy it is over there. Um, obviously, it gets quite busy at Weatherspoon over there, so it depends if they've got any tables and how long the wait's going to be, because my flight is in just under two hours. Let's have a look. But it's not looking too busy, so let's have a look in there. And here I am in Weatherspoons. I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to be eating here. I'm going to look elsewhere. Um, I'm actually having a burger tonight, so I don't really want a burger and Weatherspoons. Um, so yeah, I might actually look around and see what else there is. Yeah, you can see when you visit an airport, the Weatherspoon cost as well. It's a lot more than a normal standard Weatherspoons and the menu's a little bit smaller as well. You can see they've got burgers on there. They haven't got any pizzas um, that they would normally have at other Weatherspoons too. And I don't really want a curry uh, in Weatherspoon at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to actually look around and see what else there is. Yeah, I don't mind paying a bit extra, but I don't really want a burger as I said. So let's get around there and see what else they got. Just upstairs now at Gatwick Airport and you've got lots of food places around here. You've got a cafe, tortilla. And you've also got this shake place here, but the only trouble this is, again, as I was saying, a lot of it's burgers, stuff like that. I don't really want that type of thing because I'm going to go for a burger later. Normally, I know what I want to eat when looking around these places. I've obviously got it in my mind, but today, like I said, I'm not too sure really. It's a bit all over the place because, as I said, a lot of this is burgers and pizzas and that type of thing. I don't really want that right now, so I'm going to have a look downstairs a little bit further on and see what I can find. Well, here we are, right at the other end, and I've found somewhere to eat. Yeah, it's not around there, it is the breakfast club. I'm just going to show you the menu for the breakfast club before uh, I go in there and get into it. Obviously, they do normal breakfast, sandwiches, pancakes, and they've also got a veggie section just over here with lots of things that you can choose from. Lots of veggie bacon, lots of sides. I mean, these hash browns and homestyle potatoes sound quite nice as well. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to get in there. But I'm going to go in there now and order. And here we go in the breakfast club, just waiting for my order now. Starting off with a nice movie. Not bad at all. I'll tell you what's really well themed in here in this breakfast club. You've got the little vintage TVs up there and the bar area is really nice as well. Look at this. Now, I can't believe after all that I've gone for the burger. Yeah, it's not often that I actually change my mind. Obviously, I've been saying the whole time I'm not going to go for a burger. But um, I'm actually a vegetarian, so I don't eat meat. Um, I didn't want the bacon or anything like that, so I thought I'd just go for the burger anyway. 
Yeah, when I say burger, it's not actually a burger. I think it's an impossible burger, but yeah. Yeah, I get a bit funny, obviously, with bacon and things like that. Also, I don't eat mushrooms, so it's no good me going for a breakfast. So, gone for the burger, and I'll have something else later. Just got outside from the breakfast club. Um, yeah, I went for the burger. I was saying all along, I'm not going to go for the burger. As I said, there's nothing really else on the menu that I wanted, really, because obviously I don't go for the bacon. I'm not a fan of mushrooms. Uh, so, yeah, I went for the burger, and I'll have something else later. And on the burger, I wasn't impressed with it at all. Probably give it a 5 out of 10, because... The bun starting off wasn't toasted and it was soggy underneath. The fries were actually, well, they, they tasted like that they had been put back into the uh, deep fat fryer several times. Even though they were hot, they were overcooked and not good at all. Obviously, you got a, uh, the waitress in there wasn't very polite either, to be honest. Um, so I don't recomm recommend going to the breakfast club, really. It's really nice in there. Obviously, the bar area and the general look of the place and everything... Uh, but the food is not really up to scratch if I'm being honest so I'm a bit disappointed by it to be honest but anyway moving on now I wasn't going to put this on the vlog but I've actually got a really bad belly ache right now uh, that burger that I said I wasn't going to get uh, yeah it's not great I mean it's leaving a bad taste in my mouth, mouth making me feel sick uh, I don't know whether they've just cooked it on a load of uh, other meat products which you know normally you wouldn't really get with having a vegetarian burger or whatever uh, so yeah, I don't know whether that's giving me belly ache, but I've got that taste in my mouth, which isn't great. I've just got some chewing gum, so hopefully that takes away from it in a while. But then that's my own fault, really, for ordering the burger, isn't it? But anyway, that wasn't my plane that I was showing you, and I'm going towards it now. Now you probably guessed from the total that I'm off to Tenerife. Yeah, I'm off to Tenerife for EasyJet today. Uh, my flight's in about half hour. Just about to scan my ticket in, and then there's my flight just over there. I'm flying with EasyJet today. Just had an absolute disaster. I lost my sunglasses, so I pegged it back uh, to the toilet that I was using before. It wasn't in the toilet. Um, and then I thought it was in the restaurant, so I pegged it back up there all the way to the end of the airport. It wasn't in there either, I asked. Um, and I also went in WH Smith and I asked the member of staff in there uh, if they've been handed in. And no, they haven't. So I had to leg it back and I just made it because it said check and close. So yeah, I got lucky on that one. Yeah, so obviously I'm going to have to go and get another pair of sunglasses now, which I'm not very happy with because I really like those glasses. Busy aeroplane. And here we go, seated in my seat towards the back end of the plane. And I do have a window seat, but you can see the weather's not great outside, so not too sure what footage I can pick up, but I'll put some in. Yeah, um, that was a bit chaotic there. Obviously I lost, lost my sunglasses, as I was saying. There was a little bit of a queue. Uh, people weren't all boarding yet completely, so I pegged it back to the few spot, spots that I did go to. Obviously, I went to the toilet, um, I had my burger, and I also went to WH Smith. I went to, I was literally legging it to all three of those places. Um, unfortunately, my glasses weren't there. Um, so yeah, pegged it back. It said gate closed on there, so I thought, here we go, I've missed my flight. Um, and I just got back in time, luckily. Yeah, pretty much towards the end of the plane as well, as I was saying. Yeah, 
they've got about four hours left of the flight. And here we go, they just come around with the drinks or snacks and I've gone for a nice tea. Normally I don't have sugar but on the flights I do. So I'm going to enjoy this and enjoy the view. Is that there? Yeah, a little bit blurry, it's not really focusing that well. There we go. And here we go, easy jet toilet review. You've got the light in there. There we go, not a lot of space in there at all. Yeah, as you well know from these toilets, you don't get a lot of space from them. Moving around or anything, you just got the light in back there. And the door's just over there. So yeah. And there we go, that was the toilet review. Yeah, it's so nice uh, standing up. Obviously you get a bit of cramp if you're in there for too long. Anyway, back to my seat now with an hour to go. And there we go, just made it out of baggage, now I'm getting out of the airport. Just walking towards the taxis now, gonna get a taxi to where I'm staying. And here we go, just like that, we're in Tenerife and a taxi costs 32 euros. I'm gonna take you around the shops in a little bit and also take you down by the beach and show you what it's like down there. Right, I'm in Los Cristianos now, going down the town centre. It is gone nine o'clock, um, it's Sunday as well, so I'm not sure what's gonna be open, but I'll show you around. Now this is what you don't get when you go anywhere else really, you come to Tenerife, Los Cristianos, you've got Pandora open there, Sunday night nearly half nine at night but it's actually open which is crazy, lots of people out enjoying a drink, having a meal and I'll show you around, lovely bit of lighting just over there. Yeah they've still got all of the Christmas decorations out, so many shops over there open, you've got all the little shops around there. As I said, nearly half nine on a Sunday night, so if shopping's your thing, even though there's not too many shops here, you won't get many more places where the shops are open on a Sunday night at nearly half nine. Now one store I always go in when I come to Los Cristianos, or Tenerife in fact, is Al Hop, and there's lots of these around, and they seem to like them in here. You can get lots of gifts, lots of novelties, and I'll show you a little look in there right now. Yeah, it's always really well lit in here. There's lots of gifts you can buy, lots of toys, and I'll show you around. Okay, go, there's lots of little cushions just over here. Um, lots of small little toys for the kids as well, just over here as well. Moving on, see what we've got over here. And yeah, lots of uh, children's small little toys. I'm not really too sure what they are really. I've not really seen them before. But yeah, moving on, you've got a baby section just over here with lots of baby toys. They're quite nice, obviously. You see them around quite a lot anyway. And uh, moving on, you've got the, these are really nice. You've got the little diary things here uh, for the children. But yeah, this is really nice here. And that's eight euros as well. Moving on, you've got lots of pens around here. You've got color books just over here as well. More pens just over here. And lots more diaries. I'm not gonna cut this off. I'm just gonna give you a little walk around and show you what you expect because it doesn't always need to be edited, does it? And um, walking around, you've got glasses around here. These are quite nice as well. Yeah, they look quite nice. Just walking around here as well, you've got some ties just over here. They've got a bit of everything. Um, yeah, obviously for the colder weather, you still don't really need it over here. Because like I said, Tenerife is warm all year round, no matter when you come. Got some hats over here if you need that as well. Five euros, not too bad. There we go, you've even got some slippers over here by the looks of it. Got some hoodie blankets as well. And 10 euros each for those. There we go, be a dreamer like me. Four, 20 euros. Got some nice little bottles over here. These are nine euros each for the bottles, just down there. Moving around, you've got more socks. There we go, these are a little bit different. Interesting. More slippers, more cups. Yeah, there's so much in here. And there we go, you get the gist of what's in here though. I just thought I'd give you a quick walk around. Got the massage pillows over there. 
really, I need to invest in one of them because I've been getting a lot of aches and everything for 29 euros. Moving on. And there we go. That was our hop. And you've even got a full length mirror just there. And here we are on Los Cristianos Beach. Yeah, I love the fact that all the Christmas decorations are still up. You got Burger King over there. And here we go, here's the beach. Now this isn't the beach that I usually go on. Um, there's a lot better beaches on the right hand side all the way up there. And I'm gonna go for a long walk up there and show you that beach that I like. There's one up there, uh, there's one a little bit further on and there's another one even further on than that. I mean, it's up to an hour. The, the third one that I actually like is probably an hour walk all the way up there. Um, but I'm actually going to show you a couple of the other ones. I'm not going to the very end one. I'll go to the other two today. But yeah, I'll take you up there with me. He doesn't sing too bad that singer over there now this is one of my favorite stretches of the beach here and um, you've got lots of restaurants behind me you've also got a mcdonald's at the end i mean i don't want to go to mcdonald's today but yeah you've got lucky sevens uh, lucky sevens burger joint which is just up there and um, there's lots of other things as well so let's have a look around yeah there's so many restaurants and bars to choose from around here it's absolutely crazy the choice that you do have you've got some more up there as well that's uh looks to be an indian just up there and they used to have a dessert place just up there as well. I'm not sure if it's still here, but uh, they do lots of uh, fudge brownies, ice creams, that type of thing up there as well. Yeah, it's really nice and relaxing around here. It's not heaving, slight breeze around here tonight. And there we go, the beach is in the distance. Yeah, I'm just walking all the way up there and I'm gonna keep, oh, it's gone out of focus now, but I'm gonna walk all the way around there. There's another bit of beach just around the corner that I like, and then go to Playa Las Americas. Now looking out to the beach just over there, you can see you've got lots of little boats over there. In all the times that I've been here in the past, I've never ever seen those boats. So yeah, answers in the comment section. Have you seen those boats before? I thought I'd just take you up here because this is uh, actually my second favorite ice cream shop anywhere. Uh, my favorite is actually Nocturnal Ices, I think it's pronounced that anyway, in Blackpool. Um, there's nothing that special to it, but the ice cream is really nice. Got lots of ice creams in there. And there we go. And this fountain over is absolutely stunning. Look at this. Especially you can see the other side as well. If anyone's standing there. But yeah, this fountain, absolutely stunning. Just heading into Playa Las Americas now. And this is a really nice photo opportunity just over here. And I thought I'd put this in because I'm a star. So give me a subscribe. Now it's 10 o'clock at night on a Sunday. I'm not sure if they're still serving food in there, but I'm at the Hard Rock and I'm gonna get in there now. Yeah, here we go. Red carpet treatment for me at the Hard Rock. And here we go, straight into Hard Rock. You've got the music playing in there. I'm gonna get a table. See you in there. In the hard rock, got the menu just there. Let's have a look what I order. I got my feet, it's very loud in here, not sure if you can hear it. Lots here, nice and healthy, and I got my mojito. Just had my food, yeah I enjoyed that, it wasn't too bad, I give that a 7 out of 10 and now I'm getting dessert. And here we are with the apple cobbler, this looks really nice, can't wait to tuck into this. And that was Chicago Rock, you got fantastic moves in there, you got a lovely looking bar just over there. And yeah it's really nice, the food was a little bit average. Uh, but like I said, it made up for that, what with the music in there. I really enjoyed it in there. Do you know what? I just said Chicago Rock is actually hard rock. 
Now they also do merchandise and he got various uh, tops and things in it. You all know how much I love a good merch tour. And yeah, you got hard rock t-shirts just over here. Show you a quick look around. I'm not gonna cut the clips today anyway. Yeah, it's a nice uh, yellow hard rock jump. Is that a jumper t-shirt? It's a jumpery t-shirt. It's a little bit thick over there. Got a hard rock calf tenery fleece. Quite nice there. Nice and shiny. Lots of pins just over there. Let's have a look what we got over here. Various bags. More tops. You got the hard rock caps just over here. Let's have a look how much they are. 28.95 euros for one of them. Yeah, the top prices, 31.95. Obviously they're branded, so they're gonna be a bit more expensive over there. And there we go. And there we go, it's the Hard Rock Calf, or the Chicago Rock, I just called it. I don't know what I was thinking there. Hard Rock Calf. And that was travel day. Yeah, I had a really good time today. You can see you got fantastic feeling here at the Hard Rock Calf. Um, yeah, first of all, obviously the vlog started. Um, all the way back at the airport. Um, four hour flight where it's four hours 20 minutes because obviously the wind was against me. Um, showed you that obviously a bit on the plane, not too much, didn't want to bore you too much. Um, come back here and yeah, I walked along the beach, come to the Hard Rock Calf. Not, uh, I was gonna say the other one now, Chicago Rock Calf or whatever I was saying. Um, but yeah, I had a great night here. Uh, heading back now, long walk back all the way down the beach again. And tomorrow I'm going to see Siam Park. Literally getting my words mixed up right now. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to Siam Park. Can't wait to get back there. I've been there lots of times before. Lots of water slides, and you can film on rides. So if you want to see that, make sure you give me a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next theme parks and attractions video. Also, drop me a comment. Have you been to Tenerife before? Have you been to Siam Park? Have you been to Hog Rock Calf or Chicago Rock Calf, whatever you want to call it? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next thumbs up by the way theme parts and attractions video see you soon